Now, when they entered a robotics competition in the United States, they dreamed of defying the odds and winning. They certainly dreamed of actually going to America. But a team of roboticists from Afghanistan have had their visas refused. So when the event starts later this week, the all-girl team will be forced to watch via video link. Well, the BBC's Rahul Joglia has more. Girls in Afghanistan don't usually do this, build robots and break stereotypes. But this team of six from Herat in Western Afghanistan decided to build a robot to enter a competition in Washington. Now, after their visas were turned down, they will have to take part, but only via the internet. All of the countries can participate in the competitions, but we can't. So it's a clear insult for the people of Afghanistan. If you want something, you can achieve it. We did our best and we hope that our robot can take its place among other entries from across the world. I believe First Global have organised the competition and have more than 150 teams participating. And the girls from Afghanistan will be the only ones not represented in Washington. In a country where girls find it hard to even get basic education, these girls have come very far. But they have to leave it to their robot to go it alone from here. Rahul Joglikar, BBC News.